If you carried out any work on the cooling system, the main coolant circuit must first be bled with a suitable device. Position the coolant reservoir of the cooler vacuum filling unit at the same level as the coolant expansion reservoir. Unscrew the cooling system cap and screw the test cap onto the coolant expansion reservoir. Now mount the monitoring unit onto the test cap. Then attach the coolant supply hose to the coolant reservoir. Next, fit the Venturi nozzle to the monitoring unit. Position the bleed hose in an empty container. Then close the drain and inlet valve. Attach the compressed air hose with at least 8 bar of system pressure to the Venturi nozzle and then open the drain valve. Afterwards, open the inlet valve until the inlet hose is filled with coolant. Then close the inlet valve again. When the display of the monitoring unit is in the green zone, you can close the drain valve. Then remove the compressed air hose from the Venturi nozzle. Observe whether the vacuum remains stable for 30 seconds. If this is the case, then set the switch of the electric vacuum pump to zero. Now connect the positive and negative terminals of the vacuum pump to a suitable 12 volt source. Close the shutoff valves of the device. In the next step, attach the holder to the low temperature circuit adapter. Then connect the hose. Next, disconnect the Venturi nozzle and connect the second hose of the unit. Connect the other end to the low temperature circuit adapter. Now switch on the electric vacuum pump and open the stopcock on the device. Open the drain valve. Vacuum out the entire engine cooling system for 5 minutes. Then close the drain valve and remove the hose. Switch off the electric vacuum pump. Then disconnect the hose from the low temperature circuit adapter to relieve the vacuum. This step is complete when the vacuum gauge reads 0.0, .0 bar. Visually inspect the entire cooling system for leaks for 30 seconds. Open the inlet valve. This starts the filling process. When the monitoring unit indicates 0.0, .0 bar, the filling process is completed. Close the inlet valve when no more coolant is sucked in. Then remove the monitoring unit with all connections and the test cap. Set the coolant level in the coolant expansion reservoir correctly. Then screw the cooling system cap back on. This completes your work.